Hello students. Today I will demonstrate you how to connect a circuit which is having three switches, a fuse, and three bulbs. So this is the setup that I am going to use for you. And you can see that here we have a fuse connected, then three switches, and three bulb holders are there. So we'll do the connection to understand how to connect these three in a household circuit. So first of all, I'll take a wire and this wire will be connected from fuse point. So the live wire will first come to the fuse point and from the fuse, the wire will go to three switches. So this is the first one, from here the wire will go to the first switch. So this is the first switch in which I am putting this wire, I will make the connection tight later. Then from the same switch, from the same switch I will connect another wire which will go to the next switch. So here it goes to the next switch. And from the second one, we connect the third switch and the wire starts from the second switch and it goes to the third switch. In this manner, the same live wire gets connected with the three switches. So the same live wire has come to three switches. Now we can tight these points. So this is the fuse point, the first switch, so gently you tight these screws so that there is no loose connection. Now the second switch, see that these are firmly joined. Any point if it remains loose will give rise to some spark. So ensure that all are, the screws are very tight because you are joining a household circuit which will have a supply of 220 volt. And so all the screws should be very well tightened. So this is well done. This also looks quite tight. Now this also looks quite tight. So the live wires as you can see will come from the fuse wire then it will connect to these three switches. Now we go to the bulb holder connection. I select one wire from each of these bulb holders for three different switches. So these are the wires, these will be connected to the other point of the switch. So this is the first one, the first one now is connected like this. Now when you turn this make sure that it does not make any contact with the live wire. This gap should be very well checked. There should not be even a fiber of this AC wires here. Next, another switch. This will also be connected for from bulb holder connection to the switch. This is also going to be, be tight enough and again cross check that there is no thin wire 
coming out and touching the live wire connection now the third tight it properly and again ensure that it is to be bent on the reverse side so if you have given a bend to the live wire on this side this should be given a bend on the other side so that there is no possible contact between the two this completes our connection and now we take the other three ends of this bulb holder point which will play the role of neutral we can take these three and put them together like this so i make a common neutral point so this becomes neutral point this is the live now this is a common neutral once this is done now i take the cable which is to be used to provide the supply the red point that is the live point will be connected at the fuse live point will be connected at the fuse so this is the one which will give us the supply and this should be properly tightened again ensure that no loose wires are coming out and it is very well tight the neutral point will be connected to this and here we we'll insulate this with electro electrical insulating tape so these tapes will be covering this junction so with the help of tape we'll cover this junction and our circuit will be ready so once it is ready again cross check there should not be any loose wire in the circuit so our board is now ready the three switches and the three bulb holders are now connected i have covered the junction with electrical tape and now the time is to test the circuit so to test the circuit i'll put it like this and connect this point to the main supply and switch on these are our switches i first put first bulb in the first holder and you can see that it is working so this point is perfect now i go to the next switch on this is also glowing and so this point is also perfect and here the third one so this point is also working and the switches are also independently working for three holders so this circuit is a parallel circuit the supply is common to all of them they all our points are getting 220 volt supply and they can be individually operated so this is how is our household electrical circuit so students remember the red color is used for the live wire black is used for the neutral wire and green in case of a earth wire earth connection as you know is to be given only for high voltage or high power supplies especially when the body is a metallic for those devices we use the earth connection point also but not for this smaller circuit or low voltage low ampere circuit this kind of earth connection is not necessary so this is all about our connecting a household circuit thank you